Welcome. You're watching Life in the Law on Wednesdays from 1 to 1.30 on Think Tech Hawaii. Um, we're, I'm delighted today to talk about something I'm participating in, and we have a great guest to talk about the local uh, aspect of it. I'm marching in Washington uh, for women's rights on the weekend, on the 21st, and Michael Golulu, Golulu? Goloyu. 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 It, I did it every time I said um, Is the program manager for the Oahu portion of the, of the march. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk a little bit about the Oahu portion of the march, which expects tremendous crowds, and so does Washington. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, National and what you think is going to happen there. So welcome. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. So what, OK. But let's tell everybody, I guess, first of all, the story of how the part, the march became, came to be. Well, on November 8th, like a lot of people, uh, Teresa Shook, uh, a wonderful grandma from uh, Hana Maui, right. went to bed. She was in a, a chat room, uh, basically, on uh, Facebook called Pantsuit Nation, and she, everybody was commiserating with each other, and she's like, they had to teach her how to set up an event thing on Facebook. And so they taught her how to do it. And so she uh, put out there that she wanted to march on Washington on the day after the inauguration. Uh, she went to bed with like 40 people saying, yes, I want to do this. She woke up the next morning with 10,000 people. And that's where Facebook blocks you at a single person user. Oh, really? If you're only a single person and you put up an event, it gets blocked at 10,000. Um, so, so she had to develop a group in order had, to have, yeah. And it, this sprung a mo of the movement. It's actually an international movement now. There are over 700 sister marches really? happening all across the globe. I'm so proud that this idea came out of Hawaii. I can't, I can't tell you how proud I am. It, I, I, I'm, I'm like, all well, my old friends in New York, I'm like, you see? You see what we're doing <laughs> over here? You should follow us. <laughs> So, so the idea is that women and men, you know, men also are, are marching on Washington in support of our rights, um, to, to protect our rights, our, our reproductive rights, and our right to equal pay. And mm -hmm. what would you say? We, we're very adamant that this is not an anti-Trump march, right? Oh, this is a pro-woman march. It's a pro-woman. It's a pro-issues. It's a pro-policy. Uh, we are looking beyond the 21st. We're looking beyond that with the march. The march is, we, what we are hoping it will do is uh, turn our, these accidental ac activists, because if you look at who's running the national program, there, you have different, all these different people who don't really have a background in uh, community organizing, but they've right. come together and they've put together an amazing program. And I encourage everybody that's watching to go to uh, Women's March. Uh, dot com, and you'll see all the stuff that they have together. And you'll see if you go to, you also have see the sister marches, and all over the country, all over the world. All I'm over so the world. excited. Um, what came online this week is really chicken skin time. Is when uh, there's a women's march in Iraq. There's one in Saudi Arabia. Wow. So we're talking, and uh, Nigeria. So women across the globe are gonna are being empowered by this to step up. Not just women, but all, uh, and the men that support them, and everybody else that supports it. And it's, yes, it's called the Women's March. But it's our social agenda, agenda. It's of inclusion. inclusion. And mm. making sure that all minorities are taken care right. of. And to send a message loud and clear to the incoming administration that we will not allow to the clock to be turned back on the advances yeah. we made. We are going to be here. You may not like it. You may not agree with it. But we will be here. Our voices will be heard. Right. And it's going to be hard to not to pay attention when you have as many women as, and their supporters show up on the 21st. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's all like wildfire. It's mm -hmm. just catching on like wildfire. So you told me that you were going to start at the Eva Plain, is that right? The Eva Lawn. Eva Lawn. The Eva Lawn of the Cap for oh. Oahu. We, um, we're actually beginning a little bit before 8 o'clock on the Jan January 21st. To There's a national moment of silence. It happens at 1 o'clock East Coast time, so it's 8 o'clock our time. Uh -huh. And we're going to participate in that. Okay. And so it's led by Gloria Steinem. And so it's a, mo a minute of silence, and then a minute after that, silent no more. Excellent. Is, and so It's going to be very, very skin tingling. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be very powerful. And then we're hosting a sign making session for the last minute people because we have people that have contacted us um, or they're here on vacation and they want to take part. Isn't it amazing? So it, many newbies, so and, many noobs. Yeah. And, and people taking time out of their vacations. We, uh, they're spending a lot of money to come to Hawaii and they're going to take a good portion of Saturday to come out and spend time and march and send a message 
And so uh, that we, we were hosting that from 8.01 to 9.30. At 9.30, we're going to wrap that up. And we have a drum, an African drum uh, crew coming in at 9.20 to get the crowd going. And then at 9.50, there'll be a quick hi, thank you, a, a quick overview of the day. And then 10 o'clock, the, um, the march starts. OK. And it starts on the Evalon, goes down Richard Street, Richards to King, King to Alapai, Alapai back to the Capitol. We oh. have two left lanes thanks to the, the city issued our permit. Oh, excellent. So okay. we're not gonna take we're actually taking to the streets right. for this one. This and is gonna be I think people are gonna be really wowed and really moved because I I vaguely remember Martin Luther King's march on Washington and I was very, very young. I probably was four or five years old, but the reaction of the people around me was what I mean, I was too young to process the actual uh, event, but the the reaction of the grown-ups was so massive. It was it, it was like ripples in a in a pond, and I think that p this, it's going to be really eye-opening. Because I'll tell you something. I know a lot of people that are conservative, mm -hmm. and um, even here in Hawaii, believe it or not, and um, I don't think they realize the impact this is going to make. Uh, just it's going to be like a bell ringing mm -hmm. around the globe, you yeah. know. And uh, it can be it can be very very powerful. Yeah, it is going to be very powerful because it's a nonpartisan event. And like today, Representative Beth Fukumoto joined us at the Capitol when we were on another station for the morning show, and she's going to be joining us again on Saturday. And you see the groups that are joining us. We have fifty six supporting organizations from across the spectrum, co covering lots of different issues. Um, well, like I said, uh, we had many Huni Water came on board as one of our supporting Excellent. sponsors. They're going to be supporting, donating water. We have Valley of the Ta uh, Valley of the Rainbows came on board this morning, and so every day it's been growing and growing. At this point, it's become exponentially. The people that are RSVPing through Eventbrite with us, and people are like, "Oh, do I have to RSVP?" No, you don't have to. No, but it just it helps, helps you it guys. It helps us plan, yeah. and we so. It helps us instead of having to figure, we're, we're still going to have to do the math to figure out how many people we're expecting, but we're expecting a nice turnout. And it's, I believe we will help send a message because, well, this is going to kick off in uh, New Zealand. Uh, one of the first marches is going to be happening in New Zealand. Hawaii gets to close it all out. Excellent. It starts and ends with us. It oh, started great. with uh, Teresh, Teresa Shook and it ends with us again. That's great. Like a parenthesis around the idea. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, you know, I think everybody needs to know that th this is just a starting point. There's a real wave, a real movement among people to continue working hard, uh, continue the struggle, because it's going to be a struggle over the next few years. And we really don't want to uh, have any... Uh, rollback of any any of the great things that we've been able to accomplish and we want to push forward so I think this is sort of the the, the opening act of a, a new wave of uh, activism I hope I'm hoping it is oh it is we're hearing from uh, women and men across the country and uh, with the national organizations as well here in Hawaii we're hearing from people that have never gone into activism right this is like I said earlier accidental activists and these people are making a point of coming out and being part of this and they're like I, she, this one lady wrote and she goes I'm going outside my comfort zone by doing this and she goes but I'm bringing my daughter oh well yeah and, that's great and she's bringing the, if we're gonna see the next generation of activists hopefully be born out of this movement right and be brought to and given the chance to have their say um, and it's people have opened their hearts their yeah. and their wallets to us because right. putting on something it's huge, it's huge it's expensive it's not, massive it's, send where should they send money if people want to send money, money they send money you can uh, go online to uh, women's march wordpress.com we have a donation button there um, and that's basically we've been we've been surviving on donations we did some t-shirt sales to start off quick back in December and that gave us the seed money to move forward we just and then as the donations started coming in and so we this is a truly grassroots movement and that's why we have the wordpress.com and we didn't have the money to go out and buy a URL at the time when we started this right and like I said it's just been amazing the, the outpour of Aloha from right. everything and we've seen that for here on Oahu, and it should be noted, there's actually marches on, we have a sign waving on Kauai, the big march here on Oahu, and then we have um, Hana, it came on board last week where it all started. They're having a gather, gathering at Hana Bay at 3 p.m. And then uh, 
let's see, Maui College at 8 a.m. Uh, Kona has theirs, as well as um, Hilo. Excellent. And everybody can find information from the same website. There's links to all everything right. else. It's all over the internet. You just, if you mm -hmm. type in Women's March on Washington, you'll be loaded with information. But, you know, I have to say, I really think that this has galvanized women because I think it was profoundly um, disappointing that, I mean, every, uh, many women I know, many women my age and older were really ready for a woman president. We really, really thought, you know, our, this time had come. And it, it's, it's a deep wound. It's a, it's a profound wound. And I think that people, uh, it's, it's going to encourage people to work harder and to see the, kind, see the kinds of faces they want to see in politics and not the same old faces, you know. That's what we want, mm -hmm. new people. You know, different people. New ideas. Exactly. And um, making sure that we take care of everybody. And right. making sure that we, it, did, it was a very shocking, uh, Sherry, who's our uh, senior st or in charge of the state coordinator, uh, she said she was shocked when she when it happened. I she realized we lived, lived in a bubble that she right. thought uh, that this couldn't have happened. This bully would not be elected. And, and they elected a bully. And we're going to have to figure out how we deal with the ramifications right. of that for the, gen for the upcoming generation, how we um, make sure we, <coughs> excuse me, insulate and fix and make sure that everybody understand, the, the, the children understand you cannot treat others the way. Right. Just because he's doing it, it's not right. Right. Well, you know, um, I'm showing my age today, I think, but. Uh, you know, I remember the the profound disappointment when Richard Nixon was elected president, and um, that was a really, really hard time. America was very conflicted. Uh, people didn't have the people's rights were uh, really restricted, and um, you know, and the guy was just a bad guy. And if you knew you knew it, you knew it. And but people insisted on electing him, you know, and and really. So I, I'm glad that I'm able to tell people, you know, we've been through hard times before. We've been through hard times with the president before, but we we can get through it and we can push through it and we can prevail. We, it, this is not like a death sentence. This is not the end of everything. This just is a clarion call to, you know, do something, be involved. Yeah, you can no longer be an armchair activist. No. You need to, it's, and you, you don't have to dedicate 24-7, but just be... Putting, show up. Show up every once in a while. Put a little effort out there. And you'd be amazed if everybody did that, what a better world we'd all live in. I, 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 could, I couldn't agree more. You're watching Life in the Law on Think Tech Hawaii. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, my name is Crystal. Let me tell you, my talk show, I'm all about health. It's healthy to talk about sex. It's healthy to talk about things that people don't talk about. It's healthy to discuss things that you think are unhealthy because you need to talk about it. So I welcome you to watch Quok Talk and engage in some provocative discussions on things that do relate to healthy issues and have a well-balanced attitude in life. Join me. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you, too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. Hi. Uh, you're watching Life in the Law. I'm Marianne Sasaki. I'm here with Michael Gulu Loy. <laughs> <laughs> and we, <laughs> so I try to correct myself, but I overcorrect oh, myself. So um, it, Michael is the program manager for the Oahu Women's March, and I'm going to march on Washington. I'm doing a crazy thing. I'm flying out on Friday, going to the march, staying over one night, and then coming back. You know, it, my mother said a very funny thing, because I've marched on Washington many times, but I, I'm from New York. So my mother said to me, 
Oh, I thought that, you know, now that you are, you, you are done with all this, now that you're out all the way over there, I said, Ma, some things never die, <laughs> never goes exactly. away. So um, in, in some ways, it'll be easier than t taking the bus eight hours round trip on a single day. So, I, I, you know, I, it'll be a whole new experience for me, you know, traveling to go. So how many people from Hawaii are going, do we know? Or yeah. approx? Well, approximately, we have around 200 people that we know of. Um, Huge then you add in the people that are from Hawaii that are already in the mainland that have not, that we don't know for 100% sure. I'd say we would be closer to four to 600 people That's that with ties to Hawaii. And when we talk about the outpouring of Aloha, we've had uh, uh, Danny from Hilo that made 200 uh, tea leaf lays. Right, Those are the, lays. Sent, the, yeah. the lays. Those are being sent out today, tonight. Our travel coordinator, Amelia, is already there. She left last night. Um, what about Patagonia donating? Patagonia donated wear, which we'll need because we'll all be freezing. Yes, they don't. They were very generous in their donation to the team, uh, oh, the Ohana, um, and so it's been really exciting uh, to see how many people this has energized and brought out, and all the the passion and the the, the drive to actually do more, and that. Like you said earlier, this is not, it doesn't end on the January 21st. That's just the beginning. Right. Because um, like in D.C., they're going to have a rally. We'll have our rally after the march. And that's where you get the meat of it. It gets, it gets, you, it gets you inspired mm -hmm. and you see other people. I remember on one peace march I went to in Washington, I marched with a member of the Lincoln Brigade from uh, the, um, oh, Spanish American, not the Spanish American, with Lincoln, you know, 1930s Spain. Oh. This is bad. Uh. Anyway, so he was so inspiring because he, he was in a walker. He was probably 90 years old. He'd been doing this since the 30s, since he was fight, he, fighting fascism in the 30s. And, you know, you meet people like that and then you, can, you just can't, mm. you can't not, not do something yourself. You, you know, you just... You're just inspired by them, I think. You know, uh, you, you you never know where inspiration is going to come for you, and you're they're going to be the stories that we're hearing coming from here locally and nationally about the the people that are making the effort to go to D.C. and it's also the effort just to take. In some cases, people, women are taking the day off of work because they they work on Saturdays. It's, right, it's that's so a huge uh, uh, going is is a huge thing. I mean, I, I'm I'm humbled by the idea that 200 people are traveling this far to do to participate in something. I mean, I think that bodes well for the 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 size of the crowd in generally. Mm. I think people are going to be converging on mm. Washington. I think it's going to be very difficult to it's going to be very difficult to maneuver around there post uh, you know uh, post not, uh, inauguration, yeah. so we'll be seeing the, what the remnants of that is, is yeah. too. Well, the, the other interesting part about that is there are 200 buses that requested a permit to park for the inauguration. 1,200. Actually, I'm sorry, 14 plus for the Women's March. People who will be getting out in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you know the train system because you're going to be out, out, out. Um, that's, that's why... Um, if, well, you know, the best way to go is by train, but unfortunately it's very expensive. But it's the best, it plops you right in the middle of things and it zips you right out of things. But I hear Union Station is going to be closed tonight for a Trump rally. This yes. is what I hear. Oh, so, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, I think. Oh, today's so Wednesday, Thursday, 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 you're right, Thursday exactly night. right. Yeah. And uh, how odd. And he's, I know, so strange. He's, he's already doing so much to disrupt everything in D.C., I'm, and I'm not talking about politics. I'm talking about people's normal lives. No, yeah, 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 and day to day. day. Day to day. Mm -hmm. And so I, the reason he's doing this is just who knows why. And it's part of people thinking he's trying to disrupt the, in, the incoming travelers that, um, for the Women's March. And he might be. Because and he's closing down the station? He's closing down the station for him to have his little rally. And I'm like... I don't understand why a president needs a rally. You're the president. The president-elect, like the whole country is like your rally now mm -hmm. point. Now, you don't, you don't have to sell anybody anymore. You just have to do, do, do. The only do. people that really need, the only people that are leaders that need rallies are fascists. Right, I'm just, right, that's just right. my personal oh, thing. Listen, that's not, that's I not. I did an <laughs> early, early um, editorial on that. I mean, the, the comparison is, is just disturbing. And, and, and it's all over the world, you know, uh, this right-wing um, kind of extremism is growing in every country, even Sweden, places like that are super liberal, mm -hmm. you know, Germany and France, mm -hmm. the, it, it's, it's, um, 
Did I say left wing? I meant right wing. Did yeah. I say left wing? I, well, it's super right wing, super conservative, mm -hmm. um, dictatorial, yeah. uh, sort of, I would hate to say charismatic leaders, but strong leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's a terrible, it's a, it's a terrible trend. And people really ought to learn from history and, and read about World War II and what happened and how easily it could happen, mm -hmm. how easily things like that can go upside down. And well, that's one of the reasons I'm really inspired by the Women's March, is that it's permeated the atmosphere and the culture and people. Uh, I went to the health care rally this past Sunday with uh, Senator Schatz, and almost every woman I walked up to to try to give them a flyer, I already know about it. Right. I'm already planning on being right. there. We're putting together a team, and I'm like, great, what's your team's name? And they say, I'm like, oh, okay, you want to register? And they're like, why? And I'm like, well, because it helps us. Right. And, I, and I explained who I was to a couple of them. And they're like, oh, okay. And so a couple more registered. We have teams covering the gamut of all issues. And it's amazing to see that people coming together from different different areas, different focuses, right. mental health professionals. We have environmentalists. We have... Uh, of course, all the different gamut of women right, women's rights right. And we should mention the Seeds of Peace, who were kind enough to host a workshop on Martin Luther King Day on, on Monday. And they're doing terrific work. Really. Yes, they are. They're one of our founding uh, sp sponsors for this, to uh, help make sure that this goes beyond the one day, that we continue the fight, we continue the movement, and figure out what we can do as a community to help move the needle right. forward. Or... Make sure, or at least make sure it doesn't go back. You know, I, I, this sounds. This is going to sound sexist, but I, I, I'm going to say it anyway. You know, when women get involved in an issue, that's a protein growth. I mean, when women got involved in the anti-war movement in the mm. '60s, mothers, it was. It, the, the expansion was, was like, was, was amazing, you know, because women are used to working in groups and working in communities and having, mm. they network, we talk to each other, that's how we network, we're, we, we're very hands-on with our friends and we tell, share our lives, share what we're doing, mm -hmm. so naturally the word gets out, you know, that was like before Facebook, but, but it, when women are involved, it, things get done, not, and that's not, <laughs> not that women are it's involved. Not sexist. That, it's not sexist, it's that, an actual that, fact, and I, because I've worked with all men's organizations before, and I will never do that again. It's a little more hierarchical, a oh, little, yeah. little, little. I call it, you know, women's movements like gossipy, but I, but I say that in a good way. It's because we talk and we talk and we share and we talk and we, br we, you know, divide things up. You can do this, I can do this, I can bring this. You, you know, whether it's lays or we had a, a gathering and everybody brought a potluck. It, it, that's how we're used to operating. There's nobody in charge we're all you know in, mm. in it together you know to mm. go forward so that's how i i think it's going to be in washington too well there's yeah we've seen because you have all these different women coming together working together in different areas because there's so much to get done and uh putting on an event like this usually takes a year of planning a year right and a half that's of planning. right that's right they've had eight eight weeks right Right. And the magnitude is, uh, for the amount of time, is, 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 is uh, uh, unbelievable. I'm going to take a little bit of a divergence here because we were talking about something that's really important to me and I think <coughs> probably really important to you. Um, and then that's the commutation of the sentence for Chelsea Manning, mm -hmm. which, you know, I very much uh, am in favor of. And I think you are too. And what do you think this can mean for the future for the LGBTQ community or just what, what are your thoughts about about this 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 commutation this act of mercy by the president when he commuted Chase Chelsea Manning's sentence it was it was something that would have never uh, your average person ravaged whistleblower would never have been tried and convicted for releasing evidence of war crimes and that's what Chelsea Manning did uh, whether you can disagree or agree about the manner in which he did it it needed to get out there. Right. Um, well, I think it's what she did was very brave. Yes. And I think what President Obama did is very brave, too. So, yeah, I wish he'd done it a little sooner. I understand why he didn't, but I, I take it as a parting gift from him to the LGBT community, a parting gift to the anti-war movement that, yes, war crimes are shall not be tolerated, should not be tolerated, and um, that it 
we need more people like Chelsea Manning to come forward when they see something wrong, say something. Absolutely. We're definitely going to need that now moving forward more than ever with this new administration, that we are going to need people that are willing to have the fortitude to say something, stick their necks out when something like this happens. Right. So that's, that's, you know, that's asking a lot because that you risk everything, but you have... If you see something, you have to stand up. I mean, but think of all the lives she saved by speaking out and right. doing something. And so, right. yeah, um, everything. There's a risk of doing something. And one of the quotes that we, I came across is, "Don't let fear of um, failure be your fear of inaction." Oh, right. No, of course not. Yeah. And so, and and you can fail by coming forward and you uh you can failure is a sign that you're trying if you're failing you're doing if you're failing some percentage of the time you're doing something right mm -hmm. because you you know if you stay in your comfort zone you don't fail but if you try and fail you know hey you're you're you're, you're in there you're mm -hmm. in it so um yeah and i hope also just personally that chelsea manning will be happier and she'll be able to have a happy you know integrated rich life yes. that you know and not you know be me member of the community and not be ostracized by the community because of what she did or anything just just be happy I she, hope she's happy I hope so too and I believe she'll she should get a hero's welcome I think so too but I think we're in the minority well we might be but you never know well on that note <sighs> um, you're watching life in the law I'm Marianne Sasaki um, uh, you, I'm Marianne Sasaki. We're on Wednesdays between 1 and 1.30 here on Think Tech Hawaii.